Hello, I'm Rebecca Inman and I chose exam prompt 51A. In this video, I'll explain a phylogenetic tree I created using the phenotypes of some leaves in my yard. Horticulturally speaking, a leaf is the photosynthetic tissue of a plant that lies past the bud on the plant's stem. In this video, we'll look at three different categories of leaves, margins without lobes, margins with lobes, and compound leaves. The first clade contains leaves with margins that are not separated into lobes. The top operational taxonomic unit, OTU, is the most closely related because both have tiny serrations on the margin. The more distant relative is at the bottom since it has larger ser serrations. The second clade contains leaves with lobes. A lobe is simply a subdivision of the leaf's blade, but the blade is not separated into separate pieces. The top OTU is the most closely related because of the similarity in lobe number and margin serration. Then the next closest relative is the middle leaf due to the presence of visible serrations on the lobes. The second leaf from the bottom has a similar number of lobes to the previous one, but without large serrations. Finally, the bottom leaf has the finest serration yet and the same number of lobes as the one before it. The outgroup is this leaf, which is a compound leaf. All the other leaves in the tree are called simple leaves, since the leaf blade is not dissected into separate parts. This outgroup allows the tree to be rooted, as it is distinctly different from the others, but similar enough to allow for meaningful comparison. Here's the complete phylogenetic tree. As your attention moves from top to bottom and back, the similarities and grouping choices become apparent. Finally, here's some terminology to describe my tree. A rooted tree is one in which there is a parentless, most recent ancestor, which is the outgroup member. This serves as the comparison against the rest of the group. Anagenesis occurs when evolution happens within a lineage, while cladogenesis is denoted by one species splitting into two. An internal node represents a common ancestor from which two species arise, but which is no longer in existence. An OTU is a group where the members are being compared against each other. Here are my sources. Thanks for watching.